hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about how to use nuns in ajax so first of all what is nuns nuns is a randomly generated string uh, made of digits and um, string uh, i mean alphabets and uh, that is used for the security purpose and nuns are generated when you log in and they expire after you log out or if you don't log out after a certain uh, period of time it gets expired so uh, before jumping into that uh, let me show you one thing how nuns looks alike so here i am on the wordpress my local site and this is the wordpress heartbeat um, ajax so in in the heartbeat you see this thing nuns and uh, this is the random generated nuns string so that is we need to use um, why we need to use i'll show you in a bit during our video so yeah this is how nuns looks like and in our previous video i created some ajax on page load so first let me show you that okay let's refresh this and in the ajax response we are appending the result on the screen so let me refresh again so here we are passing this x action and some data but not the nuns that means anyone can access this um, ajax request uh, using um, postman or any api related i mean any way user can send a request to this action and pass the parameter something like that so um, and this nuns will be the randomly generated string so no one will be able to um, guess what number we they need to pass as a nuns because uh, that's a randomly generated string and uh, no one will be able to guess that so this is why we need to use nuns just to prevent some um, random operation on our site so first of all we have to create nuns then we will pass it in ajax parents like this and then we will verify so in order to uh, pass that uh, in ajax first you need to have an idea about localized script and if you don't know what is localized script i would suggest you go back to this video and come back again on this video i will provide this link into the description section but in in this video i'll just quickly show you this is my custom plugin where i am adding all my code and inside this custom action filters here I am enqueuing my custom JS and using that custom JS I am using WP localized script. So WP localized script has this handle which is similar to our custom script. Then this is the variable and this is the argument we have to pass in the localized script so in this localized script we are passing this ajax url and current user id which we can use in the 
js file like this so for example if you want to get ajax url you have to use that into our custom js like wp obj dot ajax url like this so um, let me show you how it looks like in our page so if we view source and i will search that parameter and as you can see the ajax url we are getting and current user id so whatever we pass in this argument we see over here so we will pass our nuns as well over here and that we will use into our js once we add in our js we have written this ajax action into this file so in this callback we will verify the nuns so let's start with sorry let's start with create nuns so how to create nuns so we can create nuns using this function wp create nuns and action name whatever you want to pass so let's copy this and inside the localization i will use bwp nuns and here i will pass action bwp ajax action so our nuns has been generated let's verify this we will do view page source again so as you can see um, nuns has been generated sorry so this is our nuns pwp nuns and this is the random string generated by nuns so that's that once it is generated now it's time to pass that inside this ajax request so as i already mentioned that if you want to access any of this parameter into ajax we have to use that something like this so first let's uh, pass the data as security and in the in that parameter we will pass bwp nuns now let's try to refresh the page and as you can see our nuns has been generated and uh, getting uh, sent into the ajax request now it's time to verify so first one is done pass in ajax is done now we have to verify the nuns and where you should verify so the action which is performed by this ajax uh, at that place you have to verify the nuns so how to verify and that verification should be the first line of your um, ajax action function so if i so this is the function name and we can pass this like this so first parameter is action name so the action name will be this whatever we create as a nuns 
and uh, this edge x parameter this will be an edge x parameter so our edge x parameter is security now if we refresh this our ajax is running successful and our data is appearing on the page now um, let me keep this verification as it is and uh, let me pass some random number over here like this and let's see what happens so refresh this and as you can see we are getting status 403 which is um, i guess forbidden yeah you don't have access to um, execute this and you are getting this response so data um, our execution is not performed so this is why it is necessary to use nuns because if you don't pass it let's try not to pass it then, then also it will reject the request so let's try to pass it again it should be successful request now as you can see now you are getting successful request so this is the purpose of using nuns in ajax um, let me know if you have any doubt or question um, thanks for watching the video guys